Today we look into the basics of how these circuit networks work. Then we also look into how a counter could work, this is a very simple one. And then also another one which can reset. So you get to iterate between, for example, 0 and 2 to make a lightning show. So the first part will be about the basics of what you get from these well, automation and green wires and red wires and what they are basically doing. So if you have, for example, a chest here, then we can hook, for example, a green wire up to one of these electric poles and it, then it basically reads the content of the test. Of course, um, regarding a, re a request to test, there's also other options, but basically you can read the contents. So we have here 100 iron blades in the test and we have look at the electric pole Then we get a green signal of 100. So we have two basic colors here. Red would be the other one. We can hook it up, for example, to this um, power pole and then we get a red signal containing 100 iron blades. Of course, there's also the combination of both, uh, both signals possible. So if we hook either uh, green as well as red to this, um, power pull up, then we get a green and red signal, both containing 100 iron blades. So now there's a bit of a uh, hiccup you might uh, see. For example, if we now look um, at the inputs which you get from example from one, one of these combinators, then you can um, have this input and this output here. And you can, for example, hook here the red wire up and then if we hover over it you can see here on the right side it gets an input signal of 100 iron blades. So of course the same can be done with the green wire Then again we get an input signal of 100 iron blades. So what you would expect. But you can see that it's independent of the color. So what happens if we hook both red and green up? Well let's see. Um, green and red, and oh, we get an input signal of 200. So that's why. Um, now, each of these signals are carrying uh, 100 iron blades. And what these um, combinators basically does at their, in, um, at their input slots, that they add up all signals they get, which means 100 from green and 100 from red results in an input signal of 200 iron blades. So that's um, uh, something important which you should remember for later. Now, what could we make with this circuit magic? So for example, we could make a counter. So for example, if we have this, uh, this, this, this inserter here and we want to count how many items he's putting on this transport belt. So for that, we use um, this arithmetic combinator. Let's put it maybe uh, over here. And then we take, for example, the green wire and hook this inserter up to the input of the of the combinator. Then we can have here diverse options on what to do. So, for example, um, we want we don't want to enable disable it. We just want to read the hand contents of what he is carrying. And also, we don't want that it's uh, sending a continuous signal, but a pulse. Just if it picks up one item then it should send one signal um, to the to the other side and that's it. So we have hooked it up to the combinator, then we can um, click on it and we just um, forward it through. So we basically take the very same signal times one. So we get the same amount out and output it again. So then let's use another power pole to see what's going on here. If we hook this now up to this power pole, then we can see there's nothing yet. So if we now activate it, then you can see it's now um, producing um, signals. And of course, oh, you see sometimes at this lot, short little flimmer, you would see that there is a one. So mm, not yet a counter. So for this, we use a trick. We now um, at another green, uh, well, let's use a red wire here, um, from the output to the input. 
which basically now gives um, the input the green signal, which is a one, and also the output of this, which is, well, basically the input plus the output. So, for example, if we have here an hour one going in, then here we don't have any signal at the beginning, which is a zero. Then again, we add up the green and red wire, which would be one plus zero, which is a one. Then in the next step, next item, it also gets here another one, which is sent to the input here. But here again, now we have one. So we have here one plus one, which results in a two. And then the two will be added to another one and so on and so forth. And we end up with this counter counting how many items uh, the inserter is putting on the transport belt. Of course, there are more options than just a single counter. You could also want, for example, a counter with a reset so that you count, for example, till three and then it resets back to zero. And for that, we don't use an arithmetic combinator, but a decider combinator. So let's put one down here. Then we can all again hook up our inserter to the input of the decider combinator. Then again, we rewire itself with a red wire. And then for seeing what's going on, we could also attach it to another pole here. So now uh, we get the signal from this um, from this inserter, and then we do um, inside here we do get the condition. Then we search for the iron plate and um, decide if it's smaller than zero. Well, let's go to a three. Then we want to output the iron plate item count. So and you can see here then um, that it's now counting one, two, th uh, zero, one, two. 0, 1, 2. So you get these three different states here uh, with the green signal. Um, well, you have to remember that each time um, if an item is like you have 0, then it uh, vanishes uh, or um, after all. So only get a direct signal which you can see if you have something not equal to 0. So what could you do with that? For example, you could use the counter, which uh, iterates between 0, 1, and 2, to make lighting a lighting show. For example, red for a 0, 1 for yellow, and then 2 for green. So, and what I basically did is I get the output of the signal here, then I have the three decider, each looking for one respective um, Number, for example, here, if I repeat a zero, then it outputs a red signal with one. And well, this light looks if there's a red signal which is bigger than zero. And then, well, this is the rates between these three different states. So, I hope you like this a small little introduction to the basics of how these circuit networks work and what you could, for example, do with it. Here, you made a small counter. Um, also one which resets here. And then you can do, for example, the sliding show and, well, you can always speed it up, of course, and then it's much more faster. You know, I guess this one will be a bit overwhelmed. So let's add here a fast inserter too. And yeah, get here now this really fast ticking counter. Also you can see here, the numbers just are rushing through. So, yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and if so, then please leave a like, please leave a comment, say what you would like to see next, or what you don't understand about it. I'm always happy to read anything. So, not much else to say, then see you in the next one. Ciao!